Midterm elections are less than three weeks away, and counties across the state have spent months preparing. Fox 25's Jamison Keefover finds the final boxes that need checked off, including ways you can help. County election boards and polling locations see many challenges, from redistricting down to making sure they have enough workers. Two of Oklahoma's biggest counties are shifting the way they recruit and train their poll workers to make sure they have enough come election day. It's the Super Bowl of politics. The general election on November 8th will decide who will serve Oklahoma as governor, attorney general, state superintendent, and more key positions in the state. Each county will have these same ballot questions, but each county election board experiences different challenges. COVID changed everything, and uh, that's when we uh, really put a push on to getting more workers because a lot of people wouldn't work or couldn't work, were sick, didn't want to get out in public. So we have uh, had a struggle since then, but it's, it's turned around. Redistricting brought more challenges, with Cleveland County adding 21 new precincts, forcing them to find at least 63 more workers and more polling locations. At redistricting, uh, one of my goals was to have all of our precincts with less than 3,000 voters so there wouldn't be long lines, longer lines on election day. Oklahoma County, the state's largest county, added 30 new precincts. We spent all spring looking for new polling locations uh, and you know it was, it was difficult because you know, it's it's an inconvenience to to the facility. You know, not every facility uh, will will accommodate us. We contacted county election boards throughout central Oklahoma, including Oklahoma and Cleveland County. All are still looking for more workers on election day. Logan, Grady, and Canadian County election boards tell us they always need volunteers and substitutes because life happens, and they're required to have three workers at every precinct. We're doing online training. That's about two hours worth of training online. Uh, uh, and then you still have to come into our office and, and do about another hour's worth of training. Call or email your county to help. They told me the pandemic also made vote by mail more popular in the state, which makes their jobs easier on election day. But that doesn't ease the need for the required number of trained workers and locations. Jameson Keefover, Vox 25 News.